Hello, hello, everyone. Back at it again with Undertale. I think I should be able to beat the game this time around. We'll see how long I feel like playing the game for. But... Let's get into this. Right, we left off at the MTT Resort. Just got here. Alright. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. <laughs> Hey, go up to the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, nice. What do you guys have for sale? Hmm. Cowboy hat. Um, yeah. Alright. And then... Wait, how's my inventory looking? Oh, not great. <laughs> That's okay. I hope uh, it sounds okay too. Uh, I got a new microphone. Just got it in yesterday. I spent some time trying to get it set up. So, we'll see, I suppose. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. Oh, it's expensive. Let's stay. <laughs> What's going on under these bedsheets? <laughs> nice. Whoa, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? No. Then... <laughs> Whoa, room service. Got my CT? No. Oh boy, I didn't save anything. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. There is an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain. Built 21X. Metaton added last week. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, I just realized I only have three cheese left. <laughs> oh, that's not good. You know what I can do, though? I... <laughs> can run... away. And go to Temi Village, because I know she buys things. I just have to figure out how to get to the boatsman. I think it's this way. Yeah, there's the elevator. And left floor one? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Tra la la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Yep. Yeah. Waterfall. I just gotta hope that I don't bump into trouble along the way. Maybe staying at the hotel was a bad idea. Tra la la, I hear Ascor has a favorite food. Oh, yes, I remember. It's the pie. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Aha. Uh -huh. A box. Uh. I don't have any healing items. And I can just sell my stuff when I get to Temi Village. There's a box there I can grab it from. No big deal. The biggest concern 
is running into trouble. But I think I'll be okay. Here we are. Ballet well, shoes. Whoa, you got bell shoes? Huh, <laughs> gotta have that ball shoes. But I gotta pay for college. Hmm, I'm always on ball shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my old tofu. I keep saying tofu instead of tutu. My goodness. money again. Thank you, Tammy. I am definitely filled with determination. <laughs> Alright, now to get back. No more detours. Alright, I think it's to the core and then the Metaton fight. The core is kind of a fun place too. There's lots of tough enemies there. And it's actually a pretty good place to get money as well. Uh, I'll buy some CT while I'm here. Just a couple. Oh, it's a dog. Tra la la, care for a ride? Yes. Back to Hotland. Oh, <laughs> scooping across the water. It's cute. Tra la la, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Yeah, it's just there. Thanks for the ride. Come again soon, tra la la. Alright. Into the core. Uh, right floor three? Or was it left floor three? I'll find out. Alright, I think this is the right spot. Yeah. Now to buy some healing items. <laughs> mm, Starfay. It's taken the shape of Metaton. Hero sandwich. It's expensive. Buy some Glam Burgers. A lot cheaper. There. I'll come back here when I have more money. I should be able to collect some after going through the core. Ring! Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. Look. Ring! Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. Click. The elevator isn't working. Ring. What? The elevator should be working. Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Okay. Ring. Alright, now just keep heading up. That pit isn't on my map. Forget it. Let's try the left side. Oh, the instructions aren't too good right now, Alphys. Just when everything was going your way. Ring. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Oh. Watch out! A magic pops out of its hat. <laughs> well, hello, the pet, the druid. Nice to see you again. Uh, clear mind or stare? I think they both work.
Monster. Abracadabra. Oof. Forget how hard these fights are. go. That was close. Look, why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just got to keep heading forward. Look. Ring. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch, but those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until you... the third one. Haha, uh. -ha. didn't get hit. Ring. Oh my god, are you okay? I... I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong order. Everything's fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. Ring. A crossroads. Uh... Uh... Try heading to the right. Ring. Wait, no. I think you should head up. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, night night. Same. You sing an old lullaby. Night night starts to look sleepy. Farewell. Alright, keep singing. Oh. <laughs> they fall asleep. Alright. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. Ring. Sorry, I... I... I thought that... Let's try the right path instead. Anything in here? No. T to the right I go. Ring. M more lasers. Okay, I... I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're... they're not turning off. I can't turn them off, I... It's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for the whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. And... It's gonna turn back on... Ring. Wait, stop. There it is. <laughs> the power. It's turned itself back on. Damn it. This isn't supposed to. I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little. And then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. Click. Ayy. Ring. See? I got everything under control. Everything's under control. Look. Yeah, under control. Ring. Okay. You should... you should... I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry, I... I... I have to go. Oh, Alphys. It's okay. You're doing your best. The air is filled with the smell of ozone. It fills you with determination. Cool. North, the warrior's path. West, the sage's path. Any path leads to the end. Alright, let's go this way first. Solve this puzzle and the end will open. Ah, these puzzles. Oh. Okay, that wasn't too hard. And keep going up. There's a glum burger inside the trash can. Will you take it? Yeah, I'll take the garbage burger. Why not relax and have a nice snack? Always, always eat things you find on the ground. Where's the northern room and the end will open? Oh, 
Uh, pray. You may like pray for safety. It means a lot. Remembers its conscience. Don't give up. <laughs> oh, gosh, I forget how strong everything is here. Mystify? You did something mysterious. Final Froggate recognized it has more to learn from this world. Thoughtful croak. Alright. We're good. Oh boy, two of these things. Um, stare, chaser orb. Ugh. And the corner orb. hope that you don't kill me. <laughs> oh boy, that was tough. Alright, I got this. Ooh, okay, okay, that was close. Uh, oh boy. Um, you, I'll do you first. Stigmatism. Uh, I forget what you want. I'll mystify you first. Sloan gets it. Alright, I hope that was the right choice. Oh. Good boy. Hmm. Okay. Did I make it? Ah, oh, yeah, I did. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, creatures in the core are always so tough. Oh, what's up here? Oh. Aha, nice. Money. I'll take it. Who puts their 100 G's into a garbage can? I cannot fight, I cannot think. But, with patience, I'll make my way through. At least, this is the end. Oh boy. Uh, pick on you. Don't pick on you. Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. You feel the determination. Can I use this elevator now? Oh, thank god. Let's go grab some healing items. Ooh, 
Ooh, lots of money. Was it to stay at the hotel? If you leave your room, you have to pay again. Alright, I'll do it. Okay. Time to do Metaton's fight. Save it. Oh, yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not malfunction? Reprogramming? Get real. This was all just a big show. An act. Office has been playing you for the fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles, she disabled elevators, she enlisted me to torment you. All so she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. Also, you could think she's the great person, that she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Office is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You will regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show? Without a plot twist. Hey, what's going on? The door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The only program's been cancelled. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Whoa. Real drama, real action, real bloodshed. On our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. Uh, check. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. You understand what acting is? Oh, burn. <laughs> this is probably what you'll do if things continue in this manner. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, just Asgore will destroy humanity. We keep going for now. But if I can get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Then, using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Blitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? I'm not show business, baby. Uh-oh. I can't see what's going on in there, but... Don't give up, okay? There's one last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's... This is a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always faces forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So... 
if you can turn him around, um, and, um, press the switch, he'll be, um, he'll be vulnerable. Well, gotta go. I'll uh, turn. You tell Metatong that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror. Right, I have to look perfect for a grand finale. Hmm, I don't see it. Where is it? Did you just flip my switch? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my. If you flipped my switch, that could only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, here we go. Uh, heel turn. Oh wait, maybe that was the bad choice. I forget what they all do. Boast. You say you aren't gonna get hit at all. Okay. Drama, romance, bloodshed. Ugh. I'm the idol everyone craves. Smile for the camera. Right. Oh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. Uh, legs. <laughs> That's right, legs is the correct answer. <laughs> Your essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Alright, gotta do a quick heal. Oh, I'm just warming up. But how are you gonna be on the dance floor? Haha, <laughs> easy. Can you keep up the pace? Lights, camera, bombs. Things are blowing up. <laughs> Time for our union regulated break. Hey. <laughs> I could probably survive another turn. We've grown so distant, darling. I'll put another heart to heart. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to kill soon. <laughs> okay, I'm doing good. Lamburger. Arms, who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. Oh. 
Modius, good to see you. <laughs> no problem about falling asleep. Different time zones and all that. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, gotta heal. Drama, action. Okay, didn't get hurt that time. Enough of this. Do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Heel turn. Haha, <laughs> how inspiring. Well, darling, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Watch out for my health. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh... Oh, look at these ratings. Oh, I don't think I had to take that. <laughs> this is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call in milestone. One lucky viewer. Well, take the chance to talk to me. Before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. What gender is this person? I'm pretty sure Metaton's a dude, but... Uh, I don't think it matters. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this? Our last show. Oh. Hi, Metaton. I really like watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Mediton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait, but... Huh. They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Mediton. Your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll do without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton-shaped hole in my Metaton-shaped heart. <laughs> uh, I... I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters? They only have me. Well, I left the underground, would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Oh, medicine. I, I managed to open the lock, are you two? Oh my god. Metaton. Metaton, are you? Thank god. It's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have. I would have. I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you mess it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? I... I just need a moment. 
It's out of batteries. <laughs> yeah, I've played Undertale before, so spoilers are okay. I don't really mind spoilers in general anyway. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. So, you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be... you must be... Per pretty excited about all that, huh? You'll finally... you'll finally get to go home. W wait I mean, um, I... I was just going to, um, say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul. And a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. I'm familiar with Undertale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that, uh, Metaton is a ghost. Like, if you get the key from the alley shop, you can find that out. I don't think I have enough money to get it. No, I don't have nearly enough money, but... It's a cool thing. A cool little easter egg. I like how this game has lots of hidden little secrets in it. Hmm. I don't have that much money. I think I only have one other healing item. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go on ahead and hope for the best. Hope that Asgore isn't too tough. This way. And then... <sighs> this part always felt really long. I think I can hear my roommate singing in the background. Luckily, I don't think this microphone's sensitive enough to pick it up, but you never know. I did get a new microphone. So this is my first time using it. So I hope I have this set up pretty good. Oh man. Music here. A long time ago, a human fell into the runes. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Oh, this part always makes me emotional. Take the key and put it on your phone's keychain. The fridge is full of unopened container of snails. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Ezreal, the king's son, heard the human's call. 
He brought the human back to the castle. Oh, there's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah. We got the heart-shaped locket. Which is... Really good armor. It says best friends forever. And... There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. Because... Asgore's fight is one of the rare ones where you actually do have to fight back. I'm gonna need that extra firepower. Room under renovations. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Well, let's say you about the fallen child. I think the character's gender is up for interpretation as well. It can be whatever you want it to be. Despite everything, it's still you. It's Asgore Journal. All the current page says is nice day today. I think it's still almost wet. It's a trophy. Number one knows Nuzzler Shampoo of 98. It's a closed drawer. And there are ropes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a king size bed. I think that's all the keys. Yeah. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, wrapped with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, and back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams ran out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was stuck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Oh, so nice. You know a game where I can place a skeleton? What is it? Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. 
King Asgore, let us go. Give us hope. Save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Well, I don't know if you can call being dead free. Sands. Did I do it? Did I get by without killing anyone? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together. You will determine the future of this world. And that's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points, a way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. No. You're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the faith of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. It's called... Of Love and Eternity. Oh, look it up. And I've... I've never defeated Sans. I got, like, sort of through his fight in the other evil route, but, uh, I never beat him. So once I'm done with this playthrough, I'll beat him. Oh, you're not annoying, by the way. I don't mind talking and reading. <laughs> I just get easily distracted. Oh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Patella. It's empty. Oh gosh. This game can be really creepy sometimes, like, just got coffins with dead kids in them. Dang, Asgore. That's pretty, it's pretty evil. Yeah. It's other kids. Their souls, anyway. Because they need seven souls to get through the barrier. Dum -dee -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? 
but you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do when you are ready. Come into the next room. Oh boy, I sure hope you're gonna give me a box somewhere soon. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. A dentist that's gonna kill me? Asgore. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Oh boy, I have to find a box somewhere. <laughs> Came all the way here and I forgot all my items. <laughs> Alright. I think it shouldn't be... Like, you don't have to do the, the long walk. The elevator should be working now. You can use your cell phone? Wait. How do I do that? Cell. So. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was the thing. <laughs> hey, there's the butterscotch pie. Oh man, I've played this game before and I didn't... And this is my first time finding out about that. Alright. Let's do this fight. And hope for the best. I don't have that many healing items. Hmm... But, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this anyway. Uh, we'll see how far I get. And if I die a couple times, I'll, I'll find items. Who knows, maybe I'll, I'll do it without dying. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Oh, we gotta continue, buddy. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Ooh. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, this part's so intense. And more good music. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna have to run back and heal. I think they're goats. <laughs> Alright, that's easy. Oh, 
Nice, right in the middle. Making you this easy on me, Osgore. Oh god, the very first time I played Undertale, I died so many times on this fight. Probably hold out for another round. I hope. Okay, yeah. With that pie. Halfway, halfway. I got this, probably. <laughs> uh, uh oh, I only have one more healing item. <laughs> okay. I didn't get hurt there. Ugh, I hate that one. Okay, okay, <laughs> we're getting there. speeding really fast right now. I'm so close. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did it without dying. Oh. <laughs> uh. So that is how it is. <laughs> oh. God, I feel like I need to catch my breath for a second. <laughs> oh. Okay. <sighs> I remember the day after my son died. The under- the entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But 
I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. There we go. Mercy. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. His face is so happy. And then... Lowey, how could you? <sighs> you idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Oh yeah, the game crashes. Uh, oh god. <laughs> there it is again. Ooh. This part always gives me the creeps. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Oh boy. Here we go. I don't know if I can make it through this fight without dying. <laughs> Ugh, you're so creepy.
<laughs> okay, I barely made it past the first round. <laughs> This one's not too hard, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I say. Ah, oh, yes. Give me the healing. Is that on the TV? It's Flally, probably. But I think it's actually just Toby Fox. Okay. And then they get increasingly harder to pick up the health packs. <laughs> Ballet shoes. Like if you notice all the the mini games with the hearts, they're all items we find in the game. So they're probably things that belong to the kids before us that died previously. Not collecting anything here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm still holding on. Oh, this one's a little tough. Wait, I didn't get any healing items from that one? Uh, I died. <sighs> it's all just a bad dream. My first game over of this playthrough. And you're never waking up. Ugh. All right, I get it. I get it. <laughs> he 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 he. Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? It's okay. We don't have to start the whole thing over, which is nice about this fight. Alright. 
Oh, this one again? eggs. Another one that's hard to get all of them. Oh, okay. You're getting closer to the end. Don't have to worry about health now. Well, his defense dropped to zero. And your attacks are a lot slower as well. Just really focusing on this. Okay. And I only died once. No, no. This can't be happening. You, you. <laughs> you idiot. Ouch. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. You're worthless friends. Can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Mmm, sure about that, Flowey? What? How do you... Well, I'll just... Well, 
Where are my powers? The souls. What are they doing? No, no! You can't do that. You're supposed to obey me. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Wowie. Buddy. Even after all that, I'll show you mercy. What are you doing? Do you really think you've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. We'll see about that. If you let me live, I'll come back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Yep, yep, yep. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. And Flowey ran away. I don't know how a flower can run away, but he did it. Ta-da! Undertale by Toby Fox. But hold on, there is more. Cause that's just the neutral ending. Now, we gotta get the pacifist ending. Which will probably be after these credits, I think. But that's probably one of my favorite boss fights, that end one with Flowey. It's so intense and interesting. And I love how the art style changes so much. Ring ring. Hey ya. Uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's stated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it'll take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, uh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can't I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides one thing, the Queen disbanded the Royal Guard, since we don't have to fight humans anymore. Wow, I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay, because I'm still working hard, even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad, Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that got it bad. She lost her job, then she lost her house. It was sad. But we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. A sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her as his illegal hot dog stand. <laughs> she hates working there, but she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah, she still blames you for the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot about getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan to cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest, I think it's impossible. 
But I'd like to believe it's not, because I want to go with her. Then I'd get to see you again. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> go hang out with Undyne, that's right. Even if I'd have to fight you, well, keep your fingers crossed. And keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. Why? Why did you let me go? When you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt. Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you now. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Undyne? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. Ah, thank goodness he lets me go back and talk to Undyne. Now we backtrack. Off to go make friends. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. Except for this part, because it's really long to get from the throne room all the way back to anywhere. And they put in so many, like, save points. It always confused me. <laughs> Alright, time to go gain the power of friendship. Alright, back into the core. Oh, it's so quiet. Where's the music? There it is. That's okay. I wanted to backtrack to heal up anyway. Although I don't think I have any money. No. That's alright. I think I can afford this stuff back in Snowden. Oh, that's not the right way. And select location. Oh, left floor one. Now, all I gotta do is figure out how to get to Undyne's house. Uh, waterfall. Tralala, beware of the man who came from the other world. Ooh. Spooky. Spooky Gaster. Come again sometime, tralala. Okay. There we go, this way. That oh, wasn't too hard. Hey, Papyrus! Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. <laughs> Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Here, Undyne. 
my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so are we ready to start? Whoopsie topsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> there he goes. Do skeletons even have to use the bathroom? <laughs> so, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Nah. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Yeah. <laughs> really, how delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were wearing my... If you were at my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... besties. I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Yep. Hey, I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Yeah, I love giant anime swords. One time, Alphys, a uh, friend, came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. <laughs> you want to see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. <laughs> some nerds, huh? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? <laughs> the Amori piano. Sit down and progress? Yeah. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. I'll sit. What would you like? Oh. <laughs> hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use this beer. Uh, sugar. Soda. Hot chocolate. And tea. The blatantly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. You're not gonna take the soda off the stove? It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> oh, there's the slide whistle again. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Uh-huh. Yep. 
Hey. You know, it's kind of strange that you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. On me? You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I fell bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the royal guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. And all those dogs. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can even let Papyrus into the royal guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look. He was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little, smiling shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um... Maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Spaghetti. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Ha <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Uh, strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... <laughs> we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them into the pot. <laughs> you put them in fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. <laughs> yeah, I'm into it. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you steer, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. 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 Uh, let me do it. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Uh, okay. All the way up. Hotter. <laughs> Hotter, darn it. <laughs> but it's already on fire. <laughs> Wait, that's too... Oh no. 
Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel like... If you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. <gasps> I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. I'll let on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on. Hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Uh, fake attack. You pretend, <laughs> you pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage. Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a limpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh yeah, we're in the burning house that entire time. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess we'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here, just take it. You got Undyne's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see you. Right on. <laughs> It's crying. Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> Alright, uh, just give me a second. I have to let my cat out of my room. <laughs> Where's she? Are you stuck in here? There you go. Ah, oh, alright. I was just a second. <laughs> it's technically my roommate's cat, not mine. But he likes to hang out with me a lot. The cat. I usually don't let him in my room when I'm streaming, because I know he'll want to get up halfway through, but... He was just so cute and I didn't want to bother him today. Can I afford anything here? Mm, yeah. But uh, I'll save it for Snowden. But yeah, the cat's name is Sashimi. He's a cute orange cat. Tra la la, care for a ride. Hotland. Don't snoop behind people's houses. 
You might be mistaken for a trash can. <laughs> another hint for another secret. Mayhaps. Come again sometime, tra la la. Uh, I guess I should save it. Just in case. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yeah. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? Mm, no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. <laughs> what did you seal that letter with, Undyne? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This. And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay. I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah. Let's go on a date. <laughs> Dating start. Or not? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Oh, that's a cute dress. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway. Let's do this thing. Dating start... <laughs> hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection to stick, right? That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, um, scales. Oh, uh, well, about that. <laughs> this magical spear repair kit that I... Oh, uh, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> uh... Do you like anime? I do. Hey, me too. This is about as awkward as I am on a date. <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> Perfect dating spot. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing. It might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. Ugh. Have you at least seen her? Yes. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. 
but I mean, she's way out of my league. Nah, not that, uh, you aren't cool. But Undyne? She's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? You tell her the truth, hun. It's always important. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Uh... Obviously, let's roleplay. Or er, roleplay. That's actually kind of fun. Okay, which of us will be Undyne? Uh, I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. Th thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But I know you just mean it platonically because we're friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. <laughs> then she kisses you. What? Undyne would never, uh... I kiss her back. Softly. <laughs> I- I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering. Undyne, I love you. Undyne, kiss me again, Undyne. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I- I was just- Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we we're only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like, really just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. In that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas in that time I... Alphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shush. Shush. <laughs> Alphys. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. <laughs> what I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. Doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> there he is! <laughs> now I'm gonna get the pirates to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. 
I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. And those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? <laughs> Anime is real. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Anime is real in my heart. That's what counts. <laughs> uh, thanks for taking care of all this. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Yay! And now... I think we go back to Alphysis Lab? I'm gonna go stop in Snowden first, though. Ring. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go back to Hotland. Um, but wait, yeah, that's right. I wanted to go to Snowden. Although I don't even know if healing items are important at this point in the game. Oh wait, they are. Uh, for the laboratory. <laughs> yeah, Undertale is a nice break after Satomori. Tra la la, piano plays the tinkling song. Hmm, tinkling. I mean, they're both very cute games, but I feel like Undertale is a lot more silly. Come again sometime. And all the way to the shop. What? I don't remember these being that expensive. Oh well. I don't think the things in the true lab were too tough. And I think there is healing items in there. Good tail after night, so you can good nap. La la la. Hmm. I should have worn a new pair of pants today. <laughs> but both games are good in their own right. Undertale and Amori. Come again sometime. Tra la la. After Undertale probably play games that I haven't played before. Wait, I should save it, probably. Uh, alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back.
I'm back. <laughs> okay. Time to go to the true lab. It's a note from Elphis. Read it? Yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey. Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm gonna start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Here we go. Elevator losing power. And tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. I feel like an elevator falling down a shaft would probably do some damage to you. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. Before you want change, Avatar. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Um. I mean, I, I never streamed at all until recently, so I've only all ever been a skeleton. And I think I always will be a skeleton. I might, like, update my avatar, maybe, to, like, change the style or something. But I'm pretty happy with the way it looks for now. I like being a cool skeleton. And the idea of being a VTuber is just really appealing to me. Uh, not that I'm too insecure about the way I look, but I guess I just would rather not people judging, like, the way I really look. And just focus on the gameplay. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of more monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a soul's monster soul last. <laughs> Doesn't matter how I look, I'm a nice person. <laughs> Thank you. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to resist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. I mean, it's also not really a matter of looks. I guess... It's also a matter of privacy? Uh... Like, I don't have to show my face or use my real name. If I'm a VTuber. Mm, I kinda like being mysterious. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all up. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Uh, well, I don't have any money, do I? No.
Entry number six. Asquire asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Tree number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Turn on the sink. Do it. That one's not water. Yeah, it's definitely a problem if you got white stuff coming out of your your sink. <laughs> but your inventory was full. Oof. Ugh. All right, it's a uh, cell phone. Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Join. Hold still. Ugh, creepy faces. But nobody came. Uh, refuse. That's a shame. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. And there's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all up. Train dropped it. That's all you could read. Right, right. I already figured it out. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Cool. I think that's the first key. The only one in this area. I'll also bring my health back. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Ooh. Creepy. It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfy bed. Would you like to climb in? <laughs> Here's a creepy little Easter egg for you. <laughs> oh. oh, better be a hand. <laughs> Uh, and head pads. That's cute. The ghost tucks you in. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. We're all waking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Yeah. They're definitely not dead, because I'm fighting them. Entry number seven. Only in a vessel to wield the monster's soul when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human can absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Golden flowers. Oh, hint, hint. What happens when a flower absorbs a soul, huh? 
I'm sure 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore. Returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Oh wait. Tree number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Yeah, all the notes are written by... Alphys. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yeah. Another ghost zombie thing. Oh, this one. Hello. It's the amalgamate. Oh, this one's so creepy. <laughs> you call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, blocking a strange liquid from an orifice. Ugh. Why are you so creepy? Uh, pet? <laughs> it convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Ugh. Uh, look. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping, amorphous body on you. Wait, don't I have my stick? Can I use that in on this fight? I feel like I can. Yeah, you threw the stick in the wrong dog ran to go get it. It played fetch for a while. And Dodgeny is contented. Ah, oh, nice. You won. Yeah, that's a way to end the the fight early. Luckily, I don't have to use items while I'm here. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Assume that's her being like, oh, they're alive again. But then they turn into creepy zombie disfigured things. <laughs> uh, I feel like I could make an inappropriate joke here. But it's just a key. <laughs> Look, yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I could find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray, sticky ones. Is that the same thing? It's a VH player with a few tapes picked up beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. When you watch one, uh, yeah. It's. Psst, Corey, wake up. Mm hmm? What is it, dear? Er. And why do you have that video camera? Shush. I want to get your reaction. Corey, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Etta Mom, eh? <laughs> Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> no, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. 
What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Momeranian. <laughs> oh, you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Momedian. <laughs> well, I am going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Ha ha ha, I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Number two. Okay, Patella, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee. Oh, wait, I have the lens caps on. What? You're not going to do it again? Come on, quit tricking me, haha. <laughs> oh, we're not Patella. Howdy, Patella. Smile for the camera. Huh, this time I got you. I left the cap on. On purpose? Now you're smiling for no reason, hee <laughs> hee What? Oh yeah, I remember. We tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, the slurs got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off, like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. Number four. I... I don't like this idea, Patella. What? No, I'm not. You kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No. I'd never doubt you, Patella. Never. We yeah. We'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. And tape five. Patella, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Patella, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Patella, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Ooh. Mysterious. Uh... Dude, don't trick me like that. Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Um, uh, hum? You have a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Ooh. Welcome to my special hell. Ugh. Oh boy, I'm not good at this fight. But nobody came. Stay here with me. Um, boy, I forget what to do here. Flex. Do you think I'm pretty? Uh. And then unhug. I've felt this before. And I thought I would have been able to sneak behind it. There we go. BT extraction machine status inactive. DT for determination. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Entry number 20. Ask where left me five messages today. 
before about everyone being angry. What about this cute teacup you found that looks like me? Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Uh, sure about that? Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. <laughs> There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you could read. Click. Okay, I guess I got that one. Is there nothing else in here? Oh wait, there it is. Ugh. This one. It always creeps me out. Seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. Because it doesn't even really actively attack you. Make a joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Huh, I remember. Uh, keep joking. Haha, <laughs> thank you. It's so cold. She's completely calmed down. You won. And there's the blue key. Ugh, that one always makes me feel sad. Because she doesn't even attack you back. Alright, one more thing. Oops, press the red button. What's the problem with these games that have the Z button? I always want to press the Windows button by accident. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. creeps me out. Um, pray. And pick on. Reaper bird. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Alright, that wasn't too tough. Look, the blue key fits perfectly into the slot. I think that's all of them. <laughs> we need a CP for this. <laughs> That's all of them. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yes. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? 
Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. <laughs> Just like that cat. Um, anyway. The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I call determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monster bodies don't have enough physical matter to t to take those concentrated concentrations of determination. Their bodies start to melt, and lost what they physically they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure be, there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Aww. And now... Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from uh, the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower is gone. Hmm. Ring. It's a voice. You have never heard before. Patella, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Patella, see you soon. That's not ominous or anything. Notice that the elevator was covered in vines? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, is this elevator a shortcut? Or is it a long cut? Okay, shortcut. Uh, on the phone? I think that is... What's his name? Azriel, the son of Toriel and Asgore. Or it could just be Wowie pretending. Here we go. I really hope I don't have to fight you again. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. 
Continue. I see. This is it, then. Ready. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. And... <laughs> Toriel! What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prove, prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori. You came back. Do not torry me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori. You're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? Sigh. No, Asgore. Oh, gasp. Yeah. Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends. Or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you a human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Oh, Asgore is crying. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore. Is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey. Nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them. Hey, no one fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave <laughs> and clone himself? Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name says, and, uh, same. Oh wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wow, we. I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. <laughs> What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snow proof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles! <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. 
Oh my god. Well, you two just smooch already. The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man. The nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No. He's right. Let's do it. <laughs> well, uh, I guess, if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back. <laughs> Wait, not in front of the human. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway. If I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. A tiny... flower? Uh-oh. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. Now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend souls are gonna be mine too. Hee hee hee. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I'll achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. And I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away, before you grasp it. Over and over and over. Hee hee hee. Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Oof. Even if it means killing you a million times. Oh no. That's okay. We got the power of friendship. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters. You have to stay determined. Oh, where's everyone else? Erg, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You, you. I can't believe. You're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. No, but what about the power of friendship?
finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Patella, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azriel Dreamer. It's the end. Uh, check. Uh, infinite attack and infinite defense, huh? <laughs> Legendary being made of every soul in the underground. It's the end. You held on to your hopes. Oh boy, there's a lot going on on the screen. Um, dream? Think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get it smaller and smaller. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Confused. Although I have to do that all over again. Dream. Ooh, okay. It's a good bedtime. A little bit at that time. After I defeat you, I gain total control over the timeline. I just want to reset everything. Progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Am I being so evil, buddy? Then we can do everything all over again. Switch, you can fight with pink cats. Oh. Huh. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Oh. I still have the pie. And then you'll lose to me again. And again. open because you want a happy ending chaos slicer because you love your friends Oh. 
didn't get hurt that time, buddy. Because he never gave up. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Well, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. <laughs> Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Well, wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. I'm getting, I'm getting wide. Mm. Can't move your body. Rahaha, <laughs> behold my true power. The whole world is ending. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Ugh. No, I'm staying determined. <laughs> Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything to you. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. <laughs> Still, come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Ugh. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You try to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But... Maybe, with that little power you have, you can save something else. Oh uh, yeah. You reached out to Ezreal Soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Ezreal Soul, something is resonating. And it's Undyne. Fake hit. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Oh, uh, it's the old boss fights over again. Recipe. He asks the last soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're a real enemy. Mm, clash. You clashed against the last soul with all your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit, suddenly. Memories are flooding back. Oh, some humans are okay, I guess. And... Alphys. Within the depths of Alphys' real soul, something is resonating. Uh... Nerd out. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? You call a lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this all seems very familiar. I gotta keep lying. I like how hers is the... Meditone fight. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Suddenly, she remembers. It's all flooding back. 
No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Uh, Pyrus. Oh, incense. You make a, a joke. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. I must capture a human. Just give up, I did. Puzzle. You asked the lost soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will... won't even try. Yeah. Recipe. You asked the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. You'll never see him again. Take a break. You asked the lost soul to take a break from fighting with you. It nods its head solemnly. Seems like it will. Oh wait, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Okay, now Toriel and Ezquir. Talk. You tell the lost soul that you have to go if you're going to free everyone. Something is stirring within her. Just for your own good, forgive me for this. Mm, perfect. You tell the last soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. No one will leave again. This is my duty. You tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. And hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? We gotta save Asriel. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no. I don't need anyone. Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Patella, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Oh, I know, it's like the Toriel fight. I'm doing this because you're special, Patella. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Patella. I care about you more than anyone else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. 
I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Yeah, he thinks we're Kara. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> what fraction of a heart is that? Patella. I'm so alone. Patella. I'm so afraid. Patella. Patella, I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Patella? I know. You're not actually Patella, are you? Patella's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk. That's... that's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lost- I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's soul inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much, and I care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Elphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Haha. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. I gotta forgive him. What? what? Frisk, come on. You're... you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. Well, the least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. Barrier was destroyed. Risk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Well, of course we're comforting him. Mm. Huh. Huh. I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... 
going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. so sad why can't he be with us oh you are awake thank goodness we were so worried it felt like you were out forever yeah any longer and I would have freaked out tell us next time you decide to take a nap okay yeah you made papyrus cry like a baby what I didn't cry I don't cry I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears. <laughs> now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Er, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though from what I am, not certain. Frisk. We do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, and we'll all wait for you here. Hello, Frisk. Op has upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ha ha ha. Wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. <laughs> Frisk, Tori was telling me how she made bee scotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh, that sounds really good. Cooking? Can I help? Wait a second. Can I help too? Certainly. It would be fun to cook together. On second thought, maybe I'll order pizza. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I trust the cooking of these two. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? And what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. <laughs> so, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. <laughs> That's what I've been up to lately. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to bring losers <laughs> to being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an... Anime? <laughs> oh my god. Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. 
so it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? <laughs> Hold on, um, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Alphys, are you showing him porn? <laughs> Risk. Um, you've got to tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Uh, nah. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream though, right? And write fanfiction. A lot of fanfiction. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh. I see. In that case, I'm not so sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I hope it's not what thinking. Alright, I know that there you can go back and talk to people and all that, but I'm gonna just end the game here, because I'm getting tired. Off we go! Through the barrier. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I've ever imagined. Risk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun, wowee. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. <laughs> well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Oh, there he goes. Man. Do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up. Oops. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, 
I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right, now come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Aww. We did it. We did the true pacifist playthrough. Professional everyday frog. Braver every day. I wonder if I got all their names to be yellow or not. Oh yeah, and by the way, Smoothius, I'll definitely look up that game. I haven't forgotten. I always like games with skeletons in them. Although I do have a lot of games on my list of, of things to play. I'm gonna be probably playing the genocide version for Undertale. Maybe for some brother Kara. Hmm, I don't think they're siblings. There's nothing that really hints to that, but you never know. Oh, I didn't do Ice Cap. <laughs> I thought I got it properly. Oh well. Found a loving owner. Excited by life's changes. Finally smooched. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This game is always a lot of fun to play. Karen <laughs> still flexing. Legendary janitor and Temu. Taking piano lessons again. <laughs> Metaton. <laughs> Check out those legs. <laughs> Yep. Next is the genocide. I'll probably start that tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> Use your imagination. Giving life its own meaning. Long battle finally ending. Domineering glasses seller. Street magician. Taking a well deserved nap. <laughs> Living with their families, thinking about sticks. Oh, um, he did make a shrubbery in the shape of papyrus. It will be hard to look. I know, especially after doing this so heartwarming ending, straight to the evil ending. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's send all of this for good. <laughs> I forgot this was a thing. Oh wait, I want to touch them, don't I? 
forget. But I'm gonna try and avoid them. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Shout out to Joseph Tate, Taylor Har, uh, Chloe, Trevor, <laughs> Lauren Smith, Smack, Michelle, Grandy Peace, Annie Freeman, Shane, Kevin, Matt, Jess, Kay Stevens. Dan, Brienne, Ashley Davis, Sophie, Mel May, Cole W, Aaron H, Sir Jordy, X Keeper, Amy Chong, Casey, Chad Bruce, Casey Green, Brent, Luke, <laughs> Jess. Fuzzy Tipsy, Bill King. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us in Undertale team. Thanks you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all this wouldn't be possible. Good night. Yeah, I remember Undertale when it was just a Kickstarter campaign. Hmm? Now I want to make a butterscotch pie. The end. Alright, thank you for everyone who joined my stream. I hope you enjoyed. And then I will see you on the next stream. Bon voyage. <laughs>